Hello everyone, welcome to Fijian Investment Trader, known as Fijian Traders. This is Mr. Singh, OCGN, Oregon Therapeutics. What a week, what a week we had and lows of uh, $1.34 to the $1.891 and on Friday we did close at $1.83. But before I change some support uh, um, and resistance level, we clearly got destroyed uh, this week. We're going to talk on the fundamentals and then we're going to come back and talk on the technical analysis. Well, a couple of updates, some great news coming up. Uh, throughout this um, uh, throughout this video so let's go let's go let's go I'm sorry folks I am just pumped I am so excited and this was a bound to happen and I did mention round three happened and guess what we did so uh, and the news came out and OCGN provided a general business update with the set and financial um, of the year of 2023 in 2023 our diligent efforts laid a foundation and continued uh, advancement towards a clinical operational focus of our game-changing modifier genetic therapy uh, said the doc uh, mr dr shankar uh, musmari the chairman ceo and the co-founder of ocgn 2024 has already been a parallel year concerning developments in mod modifier gen therapy programs in blindness disease and increased understanding of the value of assets along our stakeholders also he made a changes in the company as well regarding the uh, one of the cf cmo that he got in the company in terms of business side well um more about what the breaking news that came out i'm going to talk about it but about my portfolio yes folks not sold a anything yet still holding majority of 34,580 shares, roughly about up on 80%. Love the gains. I'm excited about it, but I'm not done yet. This is not my plan. The reason because of this, I still put this stock, a double digit stock. I am not thinking about the moon. I am not based on the fundamentals of the company, the growth and the profitability of OCGN and the mindset of the growth of Mr. Shankar, I am excited to see what's the future lies with this company. Well, this is my portfolio. Nothing changes right now, not adding, not decreasing anything yet, uh, but I have my target level, which I'm gonna also gonna talk about uh, on the technical side, what are the key levels. So, why uh, the stock alert, uh, why did the OCGN went up uh, 20 percent today uh, this is the time of the video when I'm doing is on Friday that is today uh, the OCGN uh, which applies in developing of gen therapies addressing the blindness disease shows the shares move higher than encouraging encouraging clinical development an advisory company uh, company a committee responsible for overseeing the safety matters approved OCGN to use a medium dose of its internal therapeutic Substantially, OCG and stock move higher than a positive implication. According to the press, the OCGN received a green light from the Data and Safety Monitoring Board, the DSMB, for the phase of one and a half clinical trial, which is very common. I've been covering this um, trial for so long. The OCU 410, an organ unclear bacteria that can potentially, potentially limit damage to the reunion due to the dry age related of muscular disease, especially to, to the uh, DSMB stated that OCN can proceed with a medium dose on, on OC, uh, OCU 400. So great, great news, which, you know, Mr. Shankar, how they are doing a clinical development on each phases and providing update and how this has been a upfront runner in terms for the stakeholders to invest more money. So definitely a lot of growth is happening with OCGN. Um, okay, and also um, kind of skimming through this article, according to Mr. Peter Chang, the C uh, CSMB, the chair of the OCGN Chronicle, the committee observed no serious ef advice effects related to the target of therapies to the date run. In, the in turn, o OCGN's team express the certification with the approval and then advising OCU's 400 safety tolerability profile. So if the trial have come to the next phase and there's some good data as well, come CN for OCU 410, you will see an another rapid movement of the stock. So, so excited. What is 
man, this is some of the great news that you want to hear, especially if you are investing on the on the health sector because each company have done away does each phases and if there's not a growth level or there's no updates provided on each phase you know companies do you know the stock market does not move away as the growth of the company but i'm excited uh, we know mr shankar has was on the road show uh in phoenix abu dhabi um and, and, and in new york talking about the ocu 410 uh, about each stages and you know they're making this product uh, growing at a rap rapid pace and i'm so excited i'm just pumped sorry folks i'm just lost with word i'm just super excited about the trend on that so without further ado let's talk on the technical side this is the five day chart you can clearly see that uh, one dollar and seventy cents was my resistance level got destroyed and my next one was sitting at one dollar eighty six cents and and guess what it tested today but couldn't break it today but this is going to be changed into a support level whatever a resistance break breaks it becomes a support level moving forward so now we have our next support is going to be 100 sorry one dollar and 70 cents love to see 170 uh dollar and 70 cents shifting the gear to the one month why i am looking this stock uh and it still have not sold it because due to uh, because it's bluish right they're always uh, you want to see with the the trend. So trend should be your best friend. My pink line, which is a hundred, uh, sorry, my two hundred day EMA is sitting at one dollar and fifty cents, which is my one dollar forty eight cent was my next support, and my blue line, which is my sixty day EMA, is sitting at one dollar and sixty cents dead on. So the support level, uh, it got this, uh, right here is going to be one seventy dollar level. The next one is one dollar and eighty four cents, and the next one. It's none other than it's going to be roughly sitting at $2.10 because time and time we did came close and we could hold on that. So those are the two key support level, uh, resistance level, I'd rather say, and it's uh, to be tested and break out on that. You can clearly see that the MACD is pointing up. Everything is pointing for the up direction. Volume predicts price. And sure or not, we had volumes on Friday. Phenomenal volume with the great news coming up and pushing the price higher and higher lows, uh, higher highs. RSI, we have still have a lot of room to left. It is not an oversold territory yet. Uh, sorry, overbought territory yet. Um, we are definitely have a lot of rooms to grow on that. So shifting the gear. Shifting the gear. This is the six months chart. When I've been covering this stock for so long, when we are sitting at 40 cents, and when we had this crossover, sitting at 36 cents, we went high, and then we pulled back. The 200-day EMA came as a support, then came back over here where... At 55 cents, where we saw a major breakout, came to $1.41, 48 cents. Then we came to the 60-day moving average. You can clearly see that it has been a support level throughout the time. And this is was round three. If you have not checked out my video, go ahead and check out the previous video which I said. And when we had this pullback, came right about $1.40, um, roughly about $1.33 cents. And I did said round three is coming. And guess what? Round three has came and it's not over yet. Yes, folks, we got not, we are not over yet. But something to keep an eye, we got to break $2.10 and start making another higher highs. If it gets rejected one more time at $2.10, it might be pulling back again and given the lows of coming back and testing the 60 day. The reason behind it is because on the technical side, it will be a double top bottom. So whenever it happens, it is a reversal coming down on the stock. I'm going to shift the gear. And I'm going to clearly show you how uh, OCGN has been trading. Uh, you can clearly see that these are the another moving averages that I have all the way to $12. Uh, yes, I'm already prepared on that area, uh, what I'm looking on the moving forward. But clearly, I want to show you guys what this stock has meant, uh, has done actually uh, throughout the time um, on the five-year trend. Uh, you can clearly see that has been a massive up runner, but due to the uh, lack of you know growth level was happening with this company we saw the pullback but this is a beautiful trend right now you know trend is your best friend i love what i see i uh, clearly see that and macd and this is just the start why did i say that because when we went to two dollar ten cent right up here we had a massive drop right here you can clearly see that the macd got sold off now we just a start right here so uh, means we have a lot of room left in order to make it in order to go all the way up high uh, to two dollar ten cents, and we gotta break that two dollar ten cents because it has been a nasty resistance level. So why did I came right all this support level? Well, 
trend is your best friend i am going all the way back here and that is not going all the way to 2022 2022 of december uh and we were looking at one dollar and 70 cents 87 cents and we can clearly see that has acted as a resistance because we couldn't broke these moving averages and was acting as a resistance and that was my chart it has been drawn all the way up here and it's all the way to the two dollar and ten cents and why do i say two dollar ten cents has been a nasty one because check it out right up here which was acting as a support and acting as a support now it acted as a resistance so once a resistance support is broken is going to be acted as a support on the downtrend so that's why i'm saying that two hundred two dollar and ten cent we gotta break when we break two dollar ten cent definitely something to keep an eye and that it means i have to go all the way i know even though i have two dollars and 94 cents which is going to be the, another nasty one to break but we have a range coming up back like two dollars and 30 cents right up here because you can clearly see that has acted as a support level right here support right here support right here and it was acted as a resistance as well so definitely a big gap that i need to figure out uh make my technical but i take baby steps right we're gonna take baby steps to do it as but we be watching the video i like to get it done as well so two dollars and 32 cents is going to be the next resistance level to break and and that's going to be changed into a red which we got to change into red to break it and that both are is going to be right of here so some key levels to keep an eye two dollars and ten cents two dollars and 32 cents and two dollars and 93 cents are the two major ones we're going to break because you can clearly see that a support level right here acted as a support and acted as a support and resistance as well and even shifting when we had a major pullback from the three dollar all the way back to 2022 in march 2020 this is 2024 and we just ended in march it's a two years gap right now and we're going all the way to two year chart to look at it how this uh how ocean has been trading it but this is some exciting times folks this is some wonderful exciting times coming in and this is not we are not done yet absolutely we are not done yet and you can clearly see that these are the key levels we're gonna break out folks i'm gonna let you guys go this is videos re releasing for the members only right now uh I appreciate the members who have subscribed so far, right? I have a couple of mem members say his name is Mr. Joel. Thank you for supporting us as well. The video is coming up. So please don't forget to subscribe. Be the member. <coughs> in the earliest video. And this is a key technical analysis that I'm provide with the fundamentals. Once again, thank you so much, so much for watching and supporting the channel. I really appreciate you guys. Thank you and have a wonderful weekend or a day whenever you're watching this video. Thank you.